Welcome back to Devices Startup channel again guys and today I will show you how to set up any Netgear Wi-Fi extender in just 2 minutes. So let's begin. First of all, you need to plug the Netgear extender in the same room as your router and wait for its power LED to turn stable. Now, once the power LED is stable on your phone or computer, go to the Wi-Fi list. There, you will need to connect to Netgear Extender default name showing up there that is Netgear underscore EXT. Once connected, the Netgear Setup Wizard window pops up automatically. If it doesn't, then open a browser on the same device and in the URL or address bar type my Wi-Fi ext.net. If that doesn't work, then type myWiFiEXT.com or use 192.168.1.250 to access the Netgear login page. Also, be very sure to type these only in the address bar or URL of the browser because if by mistake you type it into the search bar, then you might land up on third-party websites who pretend to be Netgear technicians and you might get scammed. I have made a video on this whole scam. You can watch it too. The link is in the description. So on the Netgear setup page, create an account and then it will ask you to select the network name that you want to extend. There you simply just need to select your router's network name and type its password for confirmation and then just save the settings. It takes around just 2 minutes for the extender to save them and afterwards you will be able to see the newly set up extender network name showing up in your Wi-Fi list. It will come up as your home network name underscore ext at the end. You can connect to it using the same password as your Wi-Fi router. Moreover, if you want to log in into your range extender after it is set up, like for instance you want to change its SSID or you want to change its password, then I have made a video about that topic too. The link is provided in the description. Now if this method isn't working for you, then try the second method that is WPS setup or Wi-Fi protected setup. But before this, just reset the extender once. Watch the video here about how to reset any Wi-Fi extender. The link is in the description. Now follow the same process. Plug the extender in the same room as your router. Also we assume your internet on the router is working fine while you are setting up the extender. Now press the WPS button on the router and then within 2 minutes press the WPS button on the extender. You can check the video in the description if you don't know how the WPS button looks like. Now you will see the lights blinking on the extender and router and within 2 minutes the WPS LED on the extender will get solid or stable. This confirms a successful WPS setup. Just in case the WPS setup isn't working then try again. Also, it might be possible that WPS is disabled on your router, which happens in some routers by default. So it is very simple process to enable it back. You can watch our video about how to enable WPS on router, the link is in the description again. So this is how you can set up any Netgear extender all by yourself. Moreover, just to let you know. Netgear provides 90 days complimentary support on all their products, so you can take their help too. I hope this video was useful for you. If yes, then do kindly hit like and subscribe button to support us. Thank you so much.